<laughs> First of all, it's so great to meet both of you. Um, how cool that we get to virtually meet. Um, uh, so I, let's just, what's up, Dylan? I'm still a little pissed off when it comes to the coronavirus. You are? <laughs> You know, I, you know, it's it's okay. Everybody is, and if that makes you feel better, then know you're not the only one. We're all kind of just like, what is this? Why do we have to do this? This is so annoying. We want it to go away, but you know, hey, if we have to stay inside and be locked up and do Zoom for one year, and then we get to have the rest of our lives to live the way that we want to, it's worth it, right? Especially when it comes to theater, right? It's like if we're yep. going to be online and do virtual theater for a year and then we get to do be back in the real space where I could probably meet you in a real time and we could do something really, really, really fun, that would be worth it, right? Yeah, yeah. and guess what I'm yeah. going to be when I grow up. You said, what did you say? Guess what I'm going to be when I grow up. What do you want to be when you grow up? Scientist, because I'm going to make a travel machine. <gasps> Ooh, and where would you want to travel to? The ancient times where the dinosaur lived. <gasps> I want to come with you. Can I come with you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can make multiple. I can make multiple. I can like duplicate. I can make a duplicating device. I'm into it, and I will support you any way that I can because I want to go see the dinosaurs too. <laughs> oh, me so, too. Yeah, and Nola, you're coming along too. You're coming along too. Do you think the dinosaurs did theater? Maybe yeah. they did. Um, me eating acting, even though it was probably real stuff. <laughs> right. <There's> a, <laughs> me eating acting. What, what about the herbivores, the plant eaters? Maybe they I did, think they will um, practice eating plants. Practice yeah. eating plants. <laughs> I'm going to eat this tissue because I'm an herbivore. No, I'm and in. that is theater right there. I watched that show, right? What would you if you were if you, if you were to name yourself as a dinosaur? What's your dinosaur name? Dylan the T Rex. Dylan the T Rex. Eat meat. And he's doesn't the, eat meat. And he's the coolest kid on the block, right? Yeah, and he helps other dinosaurs get away from giant dinosaurs. Ooh, and Nola, what's I'm your a, dinosaur like? I'm not gonna. I would be. Diplodonola. Diplodonola. Whoa. Okay. I would be the, a Diplodocus if that's a dinosaur, and then I would eat plants. Mm. Which this is definitely not a plant. <laughs> Yuck. So I want to ask you guys. Well, first of all, I wanted to tell you that when I was your age, I grew up in Brooklyn. And so Brooklyn is very special to me. So I also like you grew up in Brooklyn. But when I was your age, I didn't really get to have theater because there were no places to do theater for me. I took one dance class when I was younger. I know it's kind of shocking, right? I took one dance class when I was younger with my cousin and um, that was it. And I didn't really know what theater was. And I'm so sad because now as an adult, I'm like, if I hadn't at your age, which you guys do, I felt like I would have been such a happier kid, you know? Um, what does theater mean to you guys? Um, theater means to me, mm -hmm. it means that I can actually express all my feelings mm. and we get to be nice there and have fun. Get nice to practice and lines. And when I, when I grow up, maybe I'll support theater. Absolutely, because it's always going to be a part of you no matter what. And so a place to kind of have fun is necessary at this, at your age, right? A place to kind of just let out all the things you're feeling and express them and, and do kooky, crazy things like make dinosaur theater. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that sounds like a blast to me. How like about you, Nola? Time to eat tissues. Um, rom, rom. <laughs> what does theater mean to you, Nola? Into the back at this time bringing dinosaurs at this time <laughs> <laughs> they'd probably get rid of coronavirus for us <laughs> <laughs> how about you nola what does theater mean to you to me theater means it's kind of like a treasure to me because mm -hmm. it just gives me a place to let loose and i don't really care what anybody else is thinking. Yeah. I don't really care if anybody is thinking, why is she pretending to eat a tissue? And I just going crazy and I'm not being boring like this. 
<laughs> I love that. It's a treasure. It's, it's, it, I love that expression. I've actually never heard anybody call it that. It's a treasure. It is. It's a special um, uh, thing of value that we want to protect and we want to keep safe. And you're right. At, on the theater, you could do anything and no one's going to judge you. And it's a place to, uh, that's judgment free. And that is really, really awesome. Um, I was very lucky that as an adult, I got to be on Broadway and experience theater and experience audiences full of thousands of people and get to do theater every day for a living. Um, and you're right, when I think back on that time, I think what a treasure, what a gift, what fun, um, what an escape that I, I personally needed. And I think that um, we never stop wanting to have that, right? I think we're gonna always want, a, little, a small part of us is always gonna want some theater no matter where we are in life or who we become in life. Um, I heard a little birdie told me that you guys got questions for me. Ooh. Um, tell me a bit, before we get there though, tell me a bit about BCT and why you like BCT. What makes I BCT? Think, B I think I like BCT because it's, it just, very special kind of theater program because this one lets everybody be a superstar. It's not like one person is like a magical mermaid and the other person is a tree right. or like a rock. Right. <laughs> I love that. Everybody <laughs> gets like, everybody gets their, their time to shine. How about you, Dylan? What I like about theater is that I get to express my feelings, run around, do any, do anything, and I get to practice my lines at night. What's one of your favorite lines? Did you when ever? I, when I say, "It won't stop raining." <laughs> that sounded like me yesterday because <laughs> it was so rainy this weekend. That was me. It won't stop raining. <laughs> How about you, Nola? What's one of your favorite lines? Um, I think, I think I like every single line I do, <laughs> but one of them is, and we will go on a quest to find the official unicorn. Ooh. I feel like that requires some music behind it. Um, I don't know if that was the best choice, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be great to have the music after that line. Like, we're going on a quest. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, going on a quest. We're going, going on a quest. We're going, going on, on a quest. quest. A unicorn, a unicorn quest. quest. We got to have to do that. We have to We have to do the magic. We have to, we have to declare to the magic. The four pillars of the official unicorn. Okay, let's stop there. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo. That sounded amazing. You guys are so cool. I wish I was so I wish I was this cool at your age. <laughs> um, so what questions? He Dylan's like, yeah, I know it. I know I am. <laughs> so what questions do you guys have for me? Can I go first? Yes, you can, Dylan. What's your favorite theater moment that you experienced? <sighs> oh, what's my favorite theater moment that I've experienced? <laughs> I've been so lucky that I have gotten to experience a lot, which is very fortunate. Um, I think my favorite one was standing at the Delacorte Theater in Central Park playing Hercules in Hercules. That for me was a life-changing moment I will never forget it. I will never forget singing Go the Distance, standing there with the open sky above me and the beautiful park around me and my fellow New Yorkers on stage with me and just kind of, I don't know, taking center stage and standing there empowered. It was the best moment. I mean, I felt like a superhero, <laughs> you know? Um, it's those moments that theater can, theater can make you feel like a superhero. Don't we all want to feel like that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think right about now we, we all need to. I want everybody to not get the coronavirus and actually vote out Trump for somebody else. I hope that happens and we got one more day to make it happen. I, I have faith. What about you, Nola? Any questions for me? Um, 
Do you think it's important for kids to get to do theater? Mm. I feel that it's not only it's important, I think it's necessary. I think it's necessary for kids to stretch their imaginations and to dream bigger than they can ever possibly think they can dream. And theater can do that. Theater can expand the mind, the body, and the spirit all at once. Um, and I think that, you know, we got it's children. When I was a kid, I would run around my house pretending to be a Power Ranger 24 seven. My grandmother called me George of the jungle because I just ran around and jumped off of things in the house. <laughs> you know, it's like where if I had theater, I would have had a place to put all that energy. And you guys have BCT. You have a place where you can put all that energy. And it's something that it's a treasure that should be guarded and protected with our dinosaurs. <laughs> Even if it's not exactly in the place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like in the actual setting, we have like a place, like emotional place. <laughs> I want to create a jetpack as we speak because I don't want to walk anymore in my life. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Walking's not that bad. It keeps you fit. You want to yeah, be strong like Hercules? You got to be able to walk. Miles. Walking 24 miles. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of walking. I, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, my feet started hurting, so I put on my slippers. Oh, your feet started hurting? Wh where'd you go walk? From like the living room to the kitchen? <laughs> I didn't even walk anywhere. My feet just started hurting, so I was like, let me put on my slippers to give me a little cushy padding. Ooh. My slippers are like magic. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I I'm wish wearing I them slippers. right now. Maybe, maybe I'll ask Santa for magical slippers for Christmas. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, or a limited edition, LOL. Oh. A limited edition, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we lost Nola. There you go. Boom, she's back. <laughs> Nola, you're like magically, you magically popped out and popped in. That was magic. Well, yeah, because um, I, ac I sometimes accidentally press a button. It makes this search thing come out and then I go ah <laughs> um so what is your favorite show do you guys have a favorite show like musical yeah I, let's say musical what's your favorite musical um Dylan can go first <laughs> Dylan what's your favorite musical mine is a Spongebob musical <gasps> that's a good one yeah I loved Spongebob when I saw it on Broadway absolutely loved it um uh it's the best day ever at the end of the musical it just turned into a whole lot of like oh when they, well, yeah yeah when they sing the sponge bar square pants and then like everything's like flying around and being yeah. tossed with confetti and <laughs> balls like and boulders. Yeah. boulders just going <laughs> <laughs> near the volcano that's, that's the right. better episode the yeah. volcano i loved that show it was a really great show how about you nola um my favorite musical is wicked and annie Boom, 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 boom. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. What song is that? Do you know? I, I, last time I saw, well, last time I saw a musical was like February. So it's been a really long time. <laughs> I think the last time we all saw a musical was February. <laughs> yes. Why? And then I saw Annie when I was like, um, really long time ago and that like was like Annie? that was like when I wanted to be an actress that was actually the moment that I wanted to become an actress because I was like there was like a kid actress so I was like I want to be in there absolutely and that is what representation is right it's like when you see yourself on stage you're like I can do that I want to do that I can be that you know um do you guys get nervous when you're on stage I haven't really been on stage before, but I know I will get a yeah. little bit nervous because I won't even dance in front of my dad. <laughs> I won't even do that. 
but you might be surprised. You might be surprised when you're on stage and you're in costume and the lights hit you and there's this magical moment of surrender that happens where you're like, I'm on, I'm here to have fun. And then no matter what happens, I'm going to enjoy this moment, you know? And I think that takes the nerves away completely. And you'll be surrounded by your BCT family. So everybody else is going through the same things as you. And they're all, we're all going to want to put on a good show together. Right. So I think nerves kind of go away when, when we make it not about us, we make it about the experience. And guess what? What? I, I, in my, in my script, I'm the nervous one. <laughs> <laughs> you, after you've just been so cool, you're like the coolest kid I know. How could you be nervous? You must be a great actor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, how about you, Nola? Um, do you get nervous when you go on stage? Well, I do get very nervous before the thing. Mm -hmm. But that was like when I did like in-person ones. Um, I've been in two plays, musicals at BCT, but one of them was virtual. So mm -hmm. I do get nervous, but then I just kind of rock it. And I just yeah. all awesome. And I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm like also super duper excited that I can't eat or sleep or do anything about but thinking about when I'm going to be on there. That's right. So like the, it's, it's, it's the come down, right? After you've been on stage and Dylan, when, well, after you be on stage, you get to experience too. That there's this energy that's just like electrifying, right? It's like, you can't even explain it. You can't even put into words what you're feeling because you're right. You can't eat, you can't sleep. You just experience this like otherworldly moment when you've been on stage and you just want to do it again and again and again and again. And um, I think that that feeling also helps get rid of nerves because the next time you go to do something, you're like, I won't be nervous because I'm so excited. Um, and so you said you did one BCT musical in person and one BCT performance virtual. What was a virtual performance like? Um, sorry, right now I am experiencing allergies. Um, <laughs> you're like, I don't have COVID. I just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> A virtual performance, my last one, it was good, but it was kind of weird because I wasn't used to virtualing and they weren't used to virtualing. So I was like, okay. And I was like, okay, COVID is really weird right now. It's turning everything virtual. And, but yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty great. <laughs> yeah. I think that it's a learning experience for everybody. We're all trying to learn something new. We're all trying to still experience connection with each other, even though we can't be in the same space. Um, Dylan, how do you, you're, you're such a, a, you remind me a lot of a young version of me, you know, kind of just so strong and independent. And um, how do you, how do you help yourself to be brave? Sometimes I think about, about funny things and they hmm. actually cheers me up. Right, right. I, I, I feel I'm the same way. Moment. And can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. What did you like about theater when you were a kid? Mm. Well, I guess I didn't really do theater when I was a kid. Um, but if you really break down what theater is, theater is just like, make believe right it's 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 completely committing to something that is not real and believing that you are that so i i think i <laughs> would say i had a great time running around my house believing i was a power ranger <laughs> <laughs> i had um a great time i got to go to the theater when i was a kid and see theater i saw the first show that i ever saw was the lion king on broadway and I remember just being so kind of mystified of like, what is this weird thing that these people are doing on stage that's so cool and sounds so good and looks so good and they're dancing and and they're emoting and what what is this world? Um, and I think I was intrigued about this world from since then. Um, and so I personally, if I would go back and go back to when Jelani was eight years old or nine years old. Um, I would gladly wish to have been at a program like BCT and be involved in the theater and get to play around with awesome people like you guys. 
Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> Am I scary? Oh no, I hope I'm not scary. <laughs> no, you're not scary. No, you're, not scary. <laughs> you're awesome. Uh, Dylan, then. <laughs> you're awesome and you're awesome Dylan too you guys are so amazing um I'm so glad we got to have this conversation it was a timer that scared me <laughs> <laughs> it came out of nowhere <laughs> well I'm glad that we got to spend time together you guys and I'm are sorry really... that the timer went off while you we talking <laughs> <laughs> we did not hear it do not worry yeah Jelani thank Can you so much question? oh yeah. yeah, go ahead. Um, what is your funniest theater moment that you experienced? <laughs> like your craziest one? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay, so I have a really embarrassing moment when I was doing Frozen on Broadway and we were in Denver. Like, you know, so what happens is before you go to Broadway, you do a show like out of town, they call it. And so we're like trying out new things. And there was a song called When Everything Falls Apart. And, you know, I played Kristoff and so next to me was my reindeer Sven. And in this number, I'm supposed to go like pet him at a certain point. And it just so happens that his face was turned a different way when I went to pet him. So I went to go pet him and my hands punched him really, really <laughs> hard. And it reverberated in my microphone and the Sven doll's head goes <sighs> <laughs> and I started laughing so hard in the middle of the song and I couldn't, the whole audience went. <gasps> <laughs> it was hilarious. It was hilarious. <laughs> well, it's better to laugh at yourself. Right? You can't laugh at yourself. What's the point? <laughs> what? Let me guess who you play. Ooh. In what? Olaf. I play Olaf? No, yeah. you think I play a big snowman? <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> no. I play Kristoff. You know, the guy is like, reindeers are better than people. That was me. <laughs> yep. So that was because a fun People time. are so complicated, especially <laughs> in COVID, especially grumpy people. <laughs> <laughs> very very true and and what's gonna make grumpy people go away and not be grumpy anymore theater and us and reindeers and reindeers <laughs> awesome awesome oh you guys are the coolest thank you so much Jelani this is so special <laughs> yeah, really is uh, we'll let you go. Uh, Dylan, Nola, do you have any last uh, thoughts or questions before we let Jelani go? No, I nope. just want to ask him one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> what have you experienced about mm. Didier? What have I experienced? Yeah. <sighs> what have I experienced? I've experienced great love, empathy, connection, um, joy, um, a world of escape, a world of imagination. Um, honestly, theater brought the best times of my life. And I know it will continue to bring the best times of my life because the future of the theater is you. And you. Thank you. I was about Thank to cry. Thank you with a billion cherries to cry. on top. <laughs> I'm about to cry now. Oh, don't I cry. Me too. It's good crying. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. What a treat. Oh, no, you are crying, Dylan. Oh, no. <laughs> I will make you feel better. Jabwaka. <laughs> <laughs> we might this is so there's so much great conversation here it would be um we might do like a little teaser before our november 15th event to say like oh come and see could you all tell um i'll go off camera again but would you mind saying come watch our whole interview on november 15th okay great would that be all right okay yeah come watch our whole interview, interview on, on november 15th 15. Woo! These 15. guys are amazing. Come watch.
Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>